guess ideally if I could wrap around and then go straight out this way and then wrap back. I'm gonna go south to the edge and then make a decision which way I'm gonna go. Alright, well there's the edge. Ooh, acid ant. I don't want to see acid ant. Me hates the acid ants. Great. We definitely have an anthill somewhere nearby. That's going to be too close to the hospital. Yep, I'm going to start pulling stuff if I go any further. But it is opened up, so worst case, I might try that. I might do the pull down this way, then out this way, and then kind of circle back around. Alright, let's spin this thing around. Let's get moving back this way. That is not a job for this trip. Alright, something just shocked. And another Shocker Brute going after some Migos. I like that. Shocker Brute versus Migo. So where did the Migo come from? There should be a body site somewhere. There's a Amoeba, Amoeba Mold. So the body site's probably right over here. Too close to that Shocker Brute for me to take advantage of, probably. Oh, hello, Minefield. Map. Note. Still not sure where the body site is. Is that it? Maybe that's it. Maybe it's like hidden under the vehicle and right up here in the shadow. Yeah, it must be right up here. There's another site. So it's a scientist site, lab coat and such. Let's make a note. So, my nice, happy little residential area is a little less happy, now that I know there's a shocker brood in the area. Alright, can I make it through here without running stuff over and breaking my truck? Hello, Necromancer. Uh-oh, I'm gonna have to... There we go. All right, poker zombie don't care. Come on, give me another body site. I see a Kraken and an Amoebic Mold. Where are they at? There's another body site. All right, so we're gonna head up that direction, due northeast. What do we got? Oh no, 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 no! Fungal flowers. God damn it! <laughs> Ah, uh, fungal near my n hospital. No. Goddamn game. At least it's fungal flowers as opposed to a tower. I haven't seen any fungal creatures yet, so I don't think that's as bad. But I need to avoid getting that into the reality bubble, so I need to skim right up along this side and then curve outward. But I can already see at least it's completely clear. So I've got a clear movement path if I need it. Alright. And we've got everything mapped out. On this side of the city. Almost. Museum. Arcade. Home improvements. Subways. Oh, another dojo. Alright. I'll try to make a trip to that dojo. See if I can get a... I forgot to read that boxing book while I was uh, at the base. We have triple doctor's office down here. Doctor's office, doctor's office, doctor's office. I better be able to get a stethoscope out of one of those and get those safes cracked and get some anesthesia kits. Alright, let's keep finishing up our run here. What did I hit? Alright, what's up here? Chemistry set. That's helpful for certain things if I'm going to go mutation line, so I definitely want that. Four science cards, medical ampule, water, 
bunch of clothes, and that's it. So, not too bad a sight, I guess. What's in the area, monster-wise? Spitter Zombie is to my west. Didn't see me as I went by. Alright, I think I am going to stop here. Just going to... Uh, how's the vehicle doing? 47%. It's because of that GIMP alternator. It's not charging up very fast. Um, let's just let go of the controls. Whoops, crap. Let's regain control. Make sure it stops. Now let go of controls. Alright, zombies coming, guy. Um, I need you to get out of the vehicle on your side. I'll go after that zombie before it starts beating on my car. Yeah, like that. Alright, zombies coming. Don't care about this. Get out of my car, god damn it! I think my buddy was beating on my car too. Alright, I left the car running, which is dangerous. There's the medical ampule. Kill that quick. Get over here. There you go, kill these two. Alright, I think it's time for another quick save. Oh! Oh! <laughs> if, if this thing corrupted during my quick save, I am going to be so unhappy. So unhappy. I had that happen during my Drunk Meat and Master series, and it fucked me over. <laughs> That goddamn save had better gone off. I'm going to be so unhappy if that corrupted my map and my save. Let's find out. map is still showing up. I'm seeing an awful lot of zombie presence in pretty far ranges. It's going to come down to, is the map still actually the same? When it corrupted my save during the Drunk Master Mutant series, the map corrupted and what I could see was different than what the map was showing me. So it was really, really screwy and bad. Ooh, it's 7.24. I'm running out of daylight. Um, we gotta grab this stuff and get out of here. Alright, what else was out here I wanted to grab? Chemistry set, right up there. Um, sort, please. Alright, ignore the rest of this stuff. Oh, he's over there pulping stuff. Grab those. I think that's it. That's all I care about. I don't care about that ID card. Ah, we're losing the light. God damn it, get out of my driver's seat. Go, go. Alright, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get up north. Right damn now. I don't want to be driving in the dark. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Drive, drive, back. You don't want to drive into the city street. Do it. Let's pray there's not a shocker brute or a block up there. There's vehicles in my way. There's one of those burner zombies to my right. That Z symbol right there. So he's a flamethrower. Alright, we're out of the north end of town. Now I just need to avoid things in the field. 
So we should be okay, I think. I can flip the headlights on if I have to at this point. All right, we got the temporary retrieve or reprieve. I'm not sure why the light does that. It does kind of a fake <laughs> uh, sunset. And then I've got a little bit more time. We're about to pass the FEMA camp, the backside. There's our motel. All right. Wow. That was pretty good timing. I wonder what's at the end of that bridge right there. <laughs> I might take a drive over that direction to see what's right there. So you have to cross the bridge, and then there's a building. Maybe it's a lab. Not that I'm really in the mood to try a lab again after the last one. Uh, I need to get in through these bushes. Ah, didn't want to run that over. Where do I want to leave the vehicle? Um, let's just leave it right here, actually. All right, the only downside is I left my shopping cart. Do I go get my shopping cart right now? Hmm. Come on, dude. Get in here. All right, we made it home. Um... My only question is, do I run down and grab my shopping cart? Should be an easy trip. It's completely cleared down to this area. And it'll just be getting dark. Or actually, do I leave the cart there? Because I want to be heading down in the dark anyway. Grab the cart and then go finish looting. So we got the rest of the town uncovered. Post office, construction site, library. So construction site might have tools, library, books, obviously. Another construction site for possible tools. Two more houses I can check for basements, and a garage for tools. And then the triple doctor's office row. Doctor's office, doctor's office, big parking lot, antique store, doctor's office. I pretty much want to visit almost every single thing on this road. And down this way, it's pretty much just the possible artifacts in the museum, medieval weaponry, and houses. But there's a shocker brute down here. And I want to stay far, far away from the fungal stuff until I finish my hospital endeavors. So, overall, very, very successful trip. Um, we made it all the way down and back home in a working vehicle. I can siphon the gas out of the local vehicles and fix this thing up with a few of the uh, parts to make sure it's running well. Then it's the Pied Piper trip. I'm wondering if I could actually Pied Piper the hospital right into the minefield. I'd have to go around the Shocker Brute, wherever he ends up. That would be pretty amusing. If I could actually get the um, hospital crew to wander right through the middle of the minefield. So, third attempt at the Roller Girl. We've got a hospital located. We've got a vehicle we can try to start clearing it with. I've got an NPC buddy that can help me clear the standard zombies. If I can just clear the chaff. Part of the problem is going to be this right here is going to be a huge number of zombies. This is that back cafeteria area with glass windows covers his two spaces of the map area and it's just chock full of zombies. So there's going to be a huge number there. So I'm going to have to... I'm not sure how many I'm going to get over here because there's a door in the side of the building here. There may not be any zombies attracted if I start here and start honking my horn. Then I'm going to have to move through here. And again up front, this part is also open glass with a whole bunch of zombies. I'd be a little more comfortable if I knew where this went. It would really, really be awesome if there was actually a clear space here that connected up here somehow. So I could either loop around this way or loop around this way safely. If I knew for certain, that might change how I actually went about things. I'm thinking of taking a car trip out this way 
and seeing if I've got an open area down here. That'd also uncover this end of the Frankfurt. And maybe find us another body site. I think I've got time. We're only on day two. Yeah, day two. So we've got everything in place that I think I'm going to need. I've got a reach attack melee weapon that's pretty good. I've got this bull guy helping me out. Oh, it's hard. <laughs> it's going to be a difficult one. But with my buddy helping me, it's going to be a hell of a lot easier. My only worry is acid zombies. One or two acid zombies to get on my NPC buddy. If I can't pull him away and get him out of the acid pool, he's going to just Im almost immediately break his legs. And then it's going to be just goddamn impossible to drag him around and to get those healed. So acid is my big, big fear. Anything else, as you've seen, he can just bulldoze right through all the other standard zombies. Shocker Brute, Hulk, Acid. That's pretty much the only things that I'm worried about on his case. Just about anything else he'll kill quick enough that not much is really going to affect him. So we've got a really, really good chance of actually clearing the major hurdle for this first part of the challenge. So I really want to make sure we do this right. Um, I don't think so. Pretty sure with the hooves you can't wear shoes. But I also thought he wouldn't be able to wear a motorcycle helmet with the horns, so I'm not sure. If I get hold some rubber boots, I can try to give them to him, see if he does anything with them. Not sure what footwear he's using currently. Hey you, what are you using? You got any footwear? He's got a pair of boots. Whether he would swap those for... Yeah, bash six, cut six. I'm not sure he would even put on, and I, I am not sure I'd be able to force him to use the uh, rubber boots. So he's got boots and hooves. So maybe he's not. He gets to ignore those restrictions. So yeah, probably be a really good thing to get him some rubber boots. I'll keep an eye out for some. We'll see if we can manage it. I'll have to hand him a rucksack or something, otherwise he crashes when you try to remove items from his clothing if he doesn't have available inventory space to put it into. Alright, let's dump some inventory here. Uh, I'm going to keep the combat knife. Dump all of this spare cash cards I don't really need right now. Yay, chemistry sets. Don't need the soldering iron. No first aid kits yet. Not a single first aid kit. That kind of scares me a bit. Let's open the door. Let's read our books. Oops, and we lost the light. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, go from here to here. Oh, he's sleeping. Good boy. He's taking a nap. That's perfect. Alright, let's try reading these again. Just to get them out of my inventory. BQB. Read it once. Alright. I can't remember. What does that do? Does that teach? Oh, that's just melee skill. Alright. <laughs> I'm going to be so happy when I can actually take advantage of all these freaking books. Alright, so we could learn tailoring to three off of the books. We can get first aid to three, which is pretty important. I think I've already got two. That's actually helpful in order for us to have a better chance of removing the uh, CBM successfully. And the other two I don't have fab enough for. I can manually raise fab, fab pretty easily though. Alright, so we've got our inventory emptied out. We're at 5 out of 17, which is pretty good. Let's take care of our hunger and thirst and then figure out 
what I'm going to do about the time and sleeping. Let's have PB and J, some yogurt. All right, we're full. Let's hydrate via the canteen, full and slaked. Um, comes down to, am I going to make a night run? Or do I sleep during the night and make a day trip in the truck to finish my scouting? Um, I should probably at least make a night run down to grab that cart, even if I am going to go to sleep, just to have everything back up here. I don't remember how much I looted and is in the cart. If I do a night run, it's really avoiding everything and trying to get to probably down to those three doctor's offices. Hmm. Eh. Tea dregs. Yuck. What to do, what to do. I miss my enemy. Getting into the doctor's offices would accomplish what? Possible anesthetic kits, possible healing items, hopeful stethoscope, and then I'd have to spend a bunch of time cracking safes, and it would not be a safe environment to do in do so. Clearing the hospital is going to automatically get me access to almost all of that anyway. I'm almost guaranteed to get a stethoscope anesthetic kits and such from the north side of that hospital. This section here is usually chock full of rooms that have all sorts of those types of materials. So I don't think going to the doctor's offices is going to be a worthwhile time and danger factor. All right, I'm going to go down and get my shopping cart, bring it back up here, get everything unloaded, sleep. When the sun comes up, I'm going to, me and my buddy are going to hop back in the truck. I might do some work on it with some of the local materials to kind of fix it up a bit. Um, then I'm going to drive to the east just to see what's at the end of that, and then back west. And we're going to take this road out this way. I want to see what's over here and if there's a clear path that might possibly connect down to this section. I'd rather do it from this way as opposed to trying to drive underneath the forest or underneath the hospital where those acid ants were. Plus plan. It is dark. I've got my pipe spear, my gun, my knives. Yeah. Um, I want him to stay here and keep sleeping. Is this guy going to try to follow me once I get out of range? Anybody answer that? The NPC is currently not on stay in guard mode and he's sleeping and I drive off or run off. Is he going to try to catch up to me or is he going to stay here sleeping? I'd really rather not have him <laughs> just wander off into nowhere trying to catch me when I'm an entire town away. I don't know what he's going to do. I want him to sleep because I want him to get healed. Eh, he's pretty much fully healed anyway. I'm going to wake him up and then tell him to guard. Hey there, Lawrence. Wake up. Want to teach me something? No? Fine. Be that way. 
Um, <laughs> guard this position. See you around. All right. I don't want to take the chance. My my guess would be the same, Lapis, that if he's outside the bubble, he wouldn't follow, but I don't want to take the chance. I can't afford it. He's already almost full health anyway, so I'd rather play it safe and uh, do that. Hey there, zombie. Goodbye, zombie. All right, safe mode on. We got a good view range. Must be a full moon out. This should be a quick trip down to grab the shopping cart. Skeletal dog has shown up. Hello, tank. Alright, what did I have in my cart? Yeah, I had a pretty good stack of stuff in the cart. So, good thing we came back for it. Um, do I want to try to pull anything off of this thing? Truck alternator. I don't remember what was in good condition. Neither of these alternators are in very good shape. I don't want a storage battery. I couldn't use it. I'm going to say no. How about you? Good, good condition battery, but no. Nope. Full battery, truck alternator in yellow condition. I do have a welder, so I mean I could, I could repair, oh I need mechanics three. So I need to get my mechanics up one level and then I could uh, repair the alternator that's in that truck. I'm going to take some of my welder charges, which I don't want to get rid of, but uh, I could do it. And I could pull this nice battery, and or, like I said, do I actually run this truck instead? Hmm, so many things to think about. Eh, let's go through here. All right, hey there, dude. Close chat. Come with me. Okay, let's go. You gonna fall back asleep? That'd be fine if you did. <laughs> All right, don't know if you will or not. Let's unload the cart. All right, repair kit, blood draw. The lighters, pliers are good. Remember those. That's right, I can clean up some items. Alright, pretty good amount of stuff. Put the cart aside. Uh, if I'm going to do work on the vehicle, I need to do it now. I need to go look at the vehicle again. Alright, truck. What am I looking at here? It's got a gaping hole in it. Only got 6.6 .6 liters of gas. I need to repair the alternator, and I need to repair the 
tank. I don't know if it'll let me with the gas in it. I think I have to remove the gas. I can't remember. And I've got 12 liters of gas there, which I think will give me enough. Hey there, dude. He followed me out. All right. Let's go back. Grab the welder. And... Grab a few tools. Gonna need the PBA mask because I don't have welding goggles yet. See if we can get some work done before I go to sleep. So first up, can I get this repair work done? 30 minutes and 100 charges. Ouch. Do it. Next up, repair the... Oh yeah, that's right, I don't have the mechanic skill. Damn it. Where am I at? 5% of level 2. I don't remember if I had a mechanics book. Did I pick up the mechanics book? Or am I going to have to... Oh, I'm dead tired. Eh, that kind of decides things. <laughs> um, I want to uh, fix the alternator. And that's really the only other thing I consider critical. Guess I can get by with it. I got 100%, almost 100% charge. All right, let's siphon. God damn it, didn't bring the hose. Always forget something. All right, we've got up to 18 liters. I think that'll be plenty for the driving around. Any others here with a little bit? And yeah, there's a little bit more. Come here, cowboy. Alright, that's all the local ones. What? You didn't fight him? Alright, 22. That had better be enough. Alright, I'd need a wheel and Mechanics 3 to repair that, which would be nice. Let's head back inside for a minute. I do not have a Mechanics 3 book, so I'd have to do it the hard way.
Alright, well the answer is we're going to sleep right now. I'm hallucinating again. How the hell am I hallucinating again? <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. with me now. Alright, we're going to take our cough syrup and we're going to sleep right after I get something to eat. So let's grab... Oh yeah, I've still got all those chunks of meat laying here. <laughs> uh, I really like to cook some up before I go to sleep, but I'm just gonna have to hope that it's still good when I wake up. All right. Um, oh yeah, I do need to eat something. Um, Full and slaked. Can't do much about the statuses. Off to bed we try to go. Hopefully my buddy protects me. Full strength. Tired. Hungry. 7.30, 9, 9.30. Oof, burning daylight. Holy crap. All right, cough syrup wore off. I was coughing heavily at the end there. Our eyes struggled to open and muscles ache like you didn't sleep at all. That's not good. Okay. Um, I am not going to get my scouting mission done this day, and I really need to. Um, God, it's going to take me way too long to cook this stuff. Cook ten of them. I don't think I can afford to take the time to get the mechanic skill up and do the other repairs. I'm just going to go with what we got. I got to get this done before too much more time goes by. So let's drop the repair gear. Alright, so I've got six doses of water in the canteen. I've got ten cooked meat with me. Got my limited medical supplies, my halligan bar, knives, my gun. Call that good enough. Um, I 
This is purely a scouting mission. My hope is to finish the scouting mission today, come back, rest up, hopefully wake up with a good amount of time, and then I'm going to try to uh, do the initial Pied Piper on the hospital. i got to get moving on that. I can't wait any longer. So, what else can I do to prepare? First, let's get my calcium tablet, multivitamin going. Take apart the fire extinguisher to get a steel jerry can. That would actually help out with my problems with uh, siphoning in that. But I'm not going to worry about that this trip. That's right. I'm going to grab the filthy roller blades and the filthy socks. Then I'm going to grab Soap ought to do. Alright, craft, wash, board. I failed. I failed again. I finally got the washboard. Activate. Washboard. Clean up my sips. Alright, clean all that stuff up. PBA mask, I don't care. Turnout coat, I'm going to wait on, so I don't care about anything else filthy. We are going to drop my roller blades and then wear those roller blades. <laughs> 